Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the Post Frame Podcast. Today, I'm back again with Blair Nyhauser. You're Love becoming me. a regular on this uh, thing, I man. know. It's a, bad, it's a bad deal. It's a bad deal. <laughs> so today, what we're going to talk about is stick frame versus post frame. All right, Blair. So just like I said, stick frame versus post frame. Yeah. I know right before we started this podcast, we had a conversation that kind of my ignorance on <laughs> post frame. You're ignorant stick. a lot. So I'm glad, I, I I'm glad you recognized it for all, I, everyone to see. I let everybody know. Yes, <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> so what, what's what's the difference between that? Let's just start with that. Yeah. Well, there's only one word different, right? Stick versus post. Yep. Um, but yeah, so in a general sense, when when you say, uh, well, let's start with post frame, mm-hmm. right? Because that's what we normally do. That's right. our bread and butter, right? Post frame being uh, columns. Um, so generally, eight, seven and a half, you know, larger spacings apart, mm-hmm. right? And they're carrying trusses that are designed with bigger members, um, and so er- everything's kind of spaced a little bit differently. So, I mean, the, the name comes from the old terms of pole barns and and all that stuff, where the, where the support things were posts, right? Right. And they still are. They're just built different, right? It's a laminated column mm-hmm. uh, versus a, a post or like a telephone pole yeah. like it used to be yeah. uh, eons ago. Um, so post frame is your support column carrying your, your truss is connected to that, right? Mm-hmm. Carrying all the load, transferring the weight of everything. Those are generally eight foot apart. And then your framing <clears throat> that that uh, takes your outside steel or that your inside connects to your framing is generally running horizontally, and that can be at different spacings depending on what is being secured to it. Right, it's generally somewhere between two and four feet mm-hmm. apart, um, outside versus inside, and then dependent on what you're attaching. Um, so. Columns that are spaced further, horizontal running uh, framing members, trusses that are spaced a little further apart. That's that's what's generally categorized in post frame, right? Okay. And what what you would see in our buildings when you go in and look at it, and mm-hmm. you look at the spacings between stuff. Also, one difference is for post frame is the column actually becomes the foundation, right? If you remember right. our podcast yep. on foundations, some ignorance there Where still. I was ignorant right? on that one too. Um, yep, uh, one. So, so the post continues into the ground yep. and a lot of builders do that differently into what continues into the ground, right? Is it concrete? Is it treated wood? How much is it treated? Mm-hmm. Do they put sleeves on it? So there's a lot, a lot of differences there, um, but that goes four feet in the ground and sits on a concrete footing of some sort, whether yep. it's precast or a port in placed, uh, port in place footing that's at the bottom of that hole. And so that's also a, u- a unique aspect of post frame, right? Where it's not only the support of your superstructure, but it goes all the way into the ground and becomes your foundation. Those are some of the unique differences than when you flip to stick frame. Mm-hmm. Um, so if I start with spacing and some of that, you, stick frame is generally categorized as your walls are going to be stud frame. Uh, so that's stud walls, two by four, maybe two by six uh, um, studs, right? That that make up your wall that are. Re- anywhere from 16 inches to 24 inches on center, right? So it's a lot more iterative. Yeah. If you think about house construction, that's the visual to maybe have. Okay. Right. Is those, those walls getting put up with all stud frame, uh, 16 inch on center studs. Normally that's probably the most common. Mm -hmm. And then your truss system is a similar spacing somewhere to 16 to 24 inches on center. And so those trusses are built out of different things, lighter gauge, uh, or lighter, um, lighter, wood right not mm-hmm. two by eights two by tens two by twelves generally two by fours and two by sixes uh what those trusses are made of um and they're attached differently um instead of sitting into a saddle of a truss like it does in post frame right that truss in stick frame sits along the top plate of the wall and there's there's fasteners that hold that 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 connection down um and so th- so the spacings are very different the the type of members used in them are very different and then, like, lastly, what I talked about for post frame is the foundation is very different. Right. Because with a stud wall, that's a continuous bottom plate uh, that, that is the bottom piece of the framing of a stud wall, you got to have a foundation wall. Mm-hmm. you got to have a concrete foundation wall, yep. right, if yep. I'd be more specific around foundations there. Mm-hmm. And so that can be either a basement wall, a four-foot deep wall. Um, sometimes people just put them on a slab. Wouldn't recommend it. Yeah. Right again, if you go back to the the foundations conversation, you want to get below frost line. Right. We see that sometimes in like smaller garages mm-hmm. where people will just pour. It's called like a monolithic slab, 
where where the slab let's just take a 30 by 40 they pour a five six inch floor and then out at, <clears throat> excuse me out at the edges they make it a little bit thicker okay they, they dig down a little bit and maybe in the the outer you know one foot perimeter of that slab it's it's not six inches thick it's maybe eight ten or twelve inches thick get a little bit more just thickness more right yeah but it's but it's not going below frost line right anyways um so you got to have some continuous foundation when you're in stick frame okay so those those are some of the differences that would categorize one versus the other all right so thanks for stopping by blair absolutely uh, again Lots of information from this guy. That's why I always like to have him on the podcast. <laughs> Lots of information. Just trying to help. Oh, yeah, for sure.